Hello everyone, my name is Jack Sorrell and today I'm going to show you how to homebrew your Nintendo 3DS on firmware version 11.6. I make homebrew videos like this, modding videos and homebrew news videos all the time. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe so you don't miss out. Before we get started, open up system settings and make sure your firmware version is 11.6. If your 3DS firmware version is below 11.6, check the video description. I have tutorials for older firmware versions there. If you're on 11.6 like I am, note down your entire firmware version, then we can move on to the next step. Lastly, you have to make sure you have the 3DS game Freaky Forms Deluxe. This exploit works with the physical version and the digital version of the game but it has been removed from the eShop because of this exploit. You have to make sure you already have the game on your system. So if you have the game and you're on one of the right firmware versions, we can get started. And don't forget to leave a like on this video if it helped you out. To get started, click the link below and it will take you to this website. Once you're on the Freaky Hacks website, go ahead and download the Freaky Hacks exploit tool. Then go to the Homebrew Launcher website, scroll down and enter your full 3DS firmware version including the model and region letter. Then click Download Other App. And finally, download the Homebrew Starter Kit. Now on your desktop, rename this file to Other App and remember to only rename the file to Other App. Do not delete the extension. Sometimes the .bin part shows and sometimes it doesn't. Now extract the two zip folders to your desktop. Then open up your 3DS SD card and drag the boot file and the 3DS folder into the root of the card. Do this with the other app file as well. Now open the V3 folder, then open the build folder. Then choose your 3DS model and region from the folder list. I have a new 3DS from Europe, so I'm choosing new EUR. Open the exploit folder, then copy the freaky.bin file to the root of the 3DS SD card. Now on the SD card, Open the DCIM folder, then open the 100NIN03 folder. Copy the very first picture on the SD card to your computer. We are going to be replacing it with a picture which has an exploit inside. So if you don't back it up, you'll lose this one picture. Then copy the Freaky Hacks QR code picture to the same folder. After you've done all that, you can delete the remaining homebrew files from your computer and eject the SD card. Remember to keep the picture safe if you really still want it. Now on your 3DS, open up Freaky Forms Deluxe. Tap play, then tap camera, 
then tap load QR code. Select the Freaky Hacks QR code, then hit confirm. Let the exploit do its thing and the homebrew launcher should open. And that's it, you've homebrewed your Nintendo 3DS on firmware version 11.6. To exit the homebrew launcher, press start, then press A and you'll be kicked back to the home menu. Now all you have to do to open homebrew again is open freaky forums and load the exploit QR code. Well, that's all for today. My name is Jack Sorrell and I'll see you next Sunday with a brand new video. If you have an idea for a future video, leave it in the comment section below and I'll feature your channel in the video if your idea gets chosen.